Hello and thanks for listening. Welcome to the Terran Space Academy, where we help prepare you for a bright future in the space industry. Please don't forget that we have Academy-themed merchandise available in the Academy store. There are links in the description. This week was the first launch of Firefly's Alpha rocket. If you are not familiar with Firefly, please watch this lesson. The Firefly Alpha is a carbon fiber rocket that is 29 meters tall with a diameter of 1.82 meters and has a mass of 54,000 kilograms. It is a two-stage RP-1 fueled rocket that uses four Reaver-1 engines with a total thrust of 736 kilonewtons on the first stage and one lightning engine with a thrust of 70 kilonewtons on the second stage. The specific impulse of the first stage is about 296 seconds, and the second stage is 322 seconds. This rocket should be able to put about 1,000 kilograms into low Earth orbit. This makes it comparable to the Electron rocket by Rocket Lab, and the three series of rockets by Astra Aerospace, covered recently in this lesson. The Alpha rocket just launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base on 3 September 2021. I have fond memories of Vandenberg, having spent quite some time there myself. The Alpha rocket had a perfect launch and flew for about two and a half minutes before an anomaly caused it to go out of control and the range safety officer had to activate the flight termination system, blowing the rocket apart. This keeps it from going into populated areas. The rocket was carrying a variety of small payloads, including six pocket cubes that look like this. A pocket cube is a very small satellite, just one-eighth the volume of a CubeSat, and has a mass of no more than 250 grams. These were first developed by Moorhead State University and Kentucky Space to help universities around the world perform in-space experiments. These six pocket cubes would have been deployed by a Pico bus, seen here. The rocket was also carrying Spinnaker 3, this satellite had an 18 square meter drag sail. The drag sail was to be deployed by four carbon fiber booms that were three meters long each and were spanned by four CP-1 sails. It has avionics and cameras with actuators to deploy the sails. This mission was testing the sail's ability to provide a rapid deorbit capability for a second stage. This is vital research. There are thousands of pieces of space debris if a low-mass sail can be deployed to rapidly deorbit a spent second stage, it would be extremely useful. The same team is working on the next iteration, the Aerodynamic Deorbit Experiment, or ADE. Hopefully they'll try again soon. Also on board was the Crest Dream Comet. The Dream Comet was built by the University of Cambridge and was a three-unit CubeSat that was meant to demonstrate an advanced propulsion system that used a green monopropellant. Also on board was Hiapo. This is an educational one-unit CubeSat developed by the Hawaii Science and Technology Museum that allows high school STEM students to design space experiments. It was meant to collect data on solar flares and the Earth's magnetic field. Benchmark space systems had also included their BSS-1 three-unit CubeSat. This satellite was meant to demonstrate their DFAST propulsion system which uses inert, non-toxic powdered fuel that can be pressurized and activated in orbit. The rocket also carried the NPS Cinetex Orbital 1, which is from the Naval Postgraduate School. This was a three-unit CubeSat built with help from AT&T and was meant to demonstrate bursty orbital mesh networking. There was also the Serenity satellite developed by Teachers in Space. This was a three-unit CubeSat meant to help high school students carry out orbital experiments. It would have communicated with ground stations using ham radio signals. Ham radio is a high-frequency amateur radio system, reserved for general public non-commercial use. Finally, there was Firefly Capsule 1, which carried children's photos and artwork from around the world. All of these experiments were aboard for the maiden flight of this rocket system. I wish it had made it to orbit. It is always sad when so much hard work from Firefly and everyone else explodes in a ball of fire. 
I wish Firefly the best on their next flight. And the satellites on board had very innovative technology to try out in space. And I hope everyone will be able to try again. Until next time, thanks for listening. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay safe at Astro Proterra.